Hello everyone, this is me once again, your shy malicious friend from the country where there's a lot of crocodiles and kangaroos, the land down under. Let's try it, mate. And to my Aussie friends, g'day, how's it going? Yon, umibaya ang ating mga intro. Anyway, on my last video, I talk about how I edit and what editing software I use when I edit my videos. And this time around, I am going to talk about how I edit my videos using my MacBook Pro 2020. Ayan! But anyway, if you like this kind of videos, please keep on watching. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you like lang naman. And also, before I forget, sa video na din na ito, um, sisabihin ko na din, magsaside comment na din ako kung ano yung mga kaibahan pag nag edit ako using my iPad and using my MacBook Pro. So, wag natin patagalin pa itong ating mga pa-intro. Let's get it on to our video. So, let us start by clicking the iMovie icon. So, the first thing, of course, we are going to create a new movie by clicking this plus sign. So, my nagda drop down na buttons, which are movie and trailer. So, since magagawa tayo na movie, so let's click on this movie icon and it will take you to this screen right here. Next thing is choose and then drag the clip that you're going to edit out. So, for example, we're going to edit out this clip right here drag this clip all the way in here the first thing that i'm going to discuss is how i cut out those clips na hindi naman ako nagsasalita which we call did air so for example this part right here is did air siya. so yun yung ika cut out go by clicking that one and right click this split clip option so, makikita natin yung difference between laptop and iPad. So, sa iPad kasi, yung mga options niya is nakikita dito sa ibaba. So, whereas dito, pwede mo siyang gamitan ng right-click button mo or hahanapin mo dito sa ibabang bahagi ng ating screen. But then, yung split uh, button, wala siya dito. So, makikita lang na siya natin if i-click natin ang ating right trackpad. So then, my options din dyan. If dito mo ba i-delete gamit ang trackpad or those delete button na dito makikita sa ating keyboard. And the next thing na ipopoint out ko sa inyo is transition natin dyan. So sa iPad, pag i-click ko itong line na ito, may magda-drop down na mga transition options. But in here, wala kang makikita. Pero makikita mo siya dito sa itaas na bahagi ng ating screen ulit. So while sa ating iPad, yung option lang natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Compared to this one right here, madami-dami tayong options. Yung transition na ginagamit ko is fade to black. Para ma-enable natin itong green screen, blue screen natin, double click lang natin yan. Click this crop button right here. After that, yung ginagawa ko is lalagyan ko siya ng background music. Click ko lang yung finder. So drag ko lang siya ulit dito sa bottom. Ang kagandahan dito sa MacBook Pro is pwede mo siyang i-adjust kung saan mo siya gustong i-position. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, unlike sa iPad, hindi ko siya magagawa. Click ko lang siyang ganyan para ma-mute na natin tong video natin. So, yung gusto ko is cut out ko lang siya kung saan ko siya gustong mag-umpisa. At dahil ayoko naman na masyadong napaka-sharp ng pasok ng ating music, i-adjust ko siya dito yung parang may ball. Para may pa fade effect siya baga. And of course, we are going to... To my shamelicious friend, dito na naman nagtatapos ang ating 
Life. Dito na naman nagtatapos ang ating pag-video. And I hope na may natutunan kayo. At kung meron pa kayong questions and um, doubts in your minds, you can ask me. Put that on the comment section below. And I will answer you, of course. And once again, this has been your shamalicious friend from the land down under. See you later!